hour because I wasn't uh, really working that hard. Because um, uh, it wasn't a proper race, it was kind of like bots and a couple of other people, so I wasn't exactly going for it. I was just trying the, um, trying the platform out. Um, this one, well, I've just done <laughs> quite a hard, quite a hard race uh, on Twitch. So I'm not sure what energy I've got to give which energy gel. Remember. Here we go. Now, I'm not used to this, so I can't call if there are clear indicators as you head into a segment like a sprint. Sprints at 3K, oh, yeah, 8K, the, uh, and 12K. That here. Uh, kind of a bit better than it was, but um not positionable so it's like right in the middle of the screen there really need it like maybe with this layout top left hand side p eight twelve that guy was saying sprints are at three eight twelve those are at five and eight point nine Sprints of 300 meters, if that somehow helps. Now, previously, when I was on here, I had some draft indicator much a visual indication of wind going around your handlebars. But I'm not really in anyone's draft at the moment, so I'm not sure if that's still the case. <laughs> Unfortunately, this race put everyone into the uh, the same kit, a bit like it does on whipped mass group rides. Uh, so you don't get to check out any of the different kits people might be wearing tonight, including the uh, rose bikes kit that I was wearing earlier in the garage. Check to see what the keyboard shortcuts were for steering. 
Yes, it's probably not as simple as L and R for left and right. <laughs> Let me try arrows. Right. I think obvious it's not ZX either. <laughs> I kind of like the, um, the way the camera curves around a bit when it comes to corners. Show you what's coming. <laughs> I'm sure it's not for everyone. I quite like it. Mm. I guess I should be looking out here for some kind of print segment. Start indicator. Ah, okay, so it looks like it's the green banner. Eight. Not too bad. And I've just done a crit race on Zwift, five laps with five big kickers. <laughs> uh, when did that guy say the? Uh, Three and eight. Oh, and a hill at five. You can probably see what I mean about the, uh, the difference in the graphics. Quite a different look. Uh, I think to a certain extent, depends on your preferences. And also on the course as to whether it's lots of buildings or trees or desert or whatever. But um, it's certainly for me um there's nothing glaring me uh, that's it it looks looks good uh it's just a different look different style <laughs> next they've got lots of uh, uci flags in the system already after uh their recent deal to get the um, next three years of the UCI World Championships.
So yeah, this Tune Up Tuesday is supported by, uh, or sponsored by Bentham. There's a few Bentham flags around as well. Uh, not sure how long this upcoming uh, hill segment is. I know it's not too long, a um, couple of minutes maybe, but I won't be aiming for a time on it. Uh, if I can do a few, few of the sprints, but the um, busy racing, uh, crit race took quite a bit out of me. It was the uh, fastest one of the week so far, so got a decent excuse for being a bit, a bit knackered. <laughs> Oh, here we go, so 700 kilometers, uh, 700 um, meters. Uh, unless I'm being blind, I can't see radiant indicator anywhere. Oh yeah, uh, well, maybe it's that number top right hand side, 4.2, 4 4.1, 4. That's weird because it's kind of separated out two different kind of versions of the map and power information. So, top left hand side there where it says remaining for the segment, that should obviously say progress, counting up to the total that you've done, not down from the total length of the segment to zero. Uh, don't like this. The way you have no, no way to check uh, what position you were without having to manually scroll in the middle of a race. Not that I was competing for it, but I still want to know, uh, but you particularly want to know for the ones you are competing in. Okay, so yeah, on the um, segment uh, results section at the top, it's um, where it says like out of 25, because we've got 25 in this race. After you've done a segment, it doesn't change to um, indicate what your position was uh, in that segment. So we look, we look back at the um, the first sprint, it says 25 out of 25, which is the people that have, have now done it. But what it could really do with saying there is changing color or they go to green because it's a sprint segment. And in my case, I was eight, so saying eight slash 25 in green. Uh, as you cross the line, you can clearly, quickly, and easily see what position you came.
this is kind of reminiscent of the uh, undersea tunnels in Zwift on Watopia, uh, but this being kind of a Great Barrier Reef Australia themed uh, kind of underwater tunnel. There we go up to a, another sprint sector, a segment, all alone with no one to keep my pace, that means I won't be fast in it, but Seventh so far. I think in this race, it's the uh, top 10 fastest times, uh, so fastest through segment. I get points uh, 10 down to 1 uh, for, looks like, three sprints and two uh, small climbs. So, that's seven points I've got. Bad one zero. Okay, so this one's 1.6k. But yeah, you can see remaining this is 0.1 com. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's progress, not remaining. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not going to go for these uh, comp segments. You see the um, uh, rider animation looks very different to Zwift. Uh, kind of, I'd quite like something that's kind of halfway between. Uh, Zwift sometimes looks a bit too static and fixed and this one looks a bit too over the place which might be more realistic but it just looks a bit weird This section was actually quite a good contrast between Swift and my wish in terms of the different approaches to the um, visuals to the look of things. Uh, if you compare to the 
Quotopia underwater tunnels. They both look pretty good. Um, but they're just very different looks. Kind of curious since they've got steering. What happens if you veer off left and get all these flags? <laughs> Not sure I like the um, fact that it moves on to the next segment when the first person in the race gets there, rather than continuing to show one that you're in the middle of progressing on. That's I know I don't like that. I'm not. It's not. I'm not sure. Uh, it should continue to show the segment that either ne next for you or that you're currently in. Sure, what this option here is. Oh, okay, so that's just for minimizing the sector information. And it kind of feels like the uh, little gradient line on the top right and the mini map on the bottom left be combined into one of those sections allowing for the chat not be right here in the middle of your avatar so that you could keep the chat open without it looking like crap as you're writing power seems to be far more sensitive to on and off than Zwift is. So it's very hard to gauge staying behind someone. You either drift behind or drift past. Now the segment information is showing two further on than the one I'm actually on. Which is great for A riders because that's probably where they are. But I'm 21 out of 24 riders at the moment. Or, well, what was 25? I guess it's reducing as people finish. Showing information relevant to me, sorry, even if that section was saying progress instead of remaining, the segment you wouldn't have it for the segment you're approaching or in uh, because it's moved on to other stuff. Simple fix, but it's annoying.
Come to last sprint segment. Early race and no those sprints really to get out of the legs. <laughs> So there you go, that's my first my wish race, points race, got a few points, uh, even after a tiring race just beforehand, and uh, got a chance to show off the uh, setup to you, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you like my content, uh, I race quite regularly. my best race ever obviously but I uh, had a clear objective of going after a few of the sprints and just showing people around uh, well, uh, spinning show we're all probably pretty low down 18th 19th something like that not 21st <laughs> Uh, quite like this, where you get to see at the end of the race all of the segments that if you weren't checking as you went along, which is kind of difficult. Easy fix, but I'll say again, <laughs> but annoying. But um, this is nice uh, being able to see the um, segments at the end. So, eighth on that sprint, uh, not about the second sprint. Seven and the final sprint fifth. Uh, and 
pretty competitive times. Oh, we're all pretty close to getting third on that one, actually. Damn. Look, how they're doing the other ones near to the top. 22.9, 22.3. Not great dealing it on that one either. And we're probably slower. 23.9 to 21.9. Yeah, a couple of seconds off third place on that one. Uh, second and third sprints, I think. My legs have got re-warmed up again after a little break between the first race and uh, first sprint. Yeah, relatively competitive on the watch, but I had no draft uh, and nothing to come back in for. Um, uh, that's where if you've got more than one page is worth. So, so some reasonable printing figures, not not huge, but uh, yeah, that was a decent little sprint, uh, a point sprint, points crit, uh, three. Sprints, one short climb, one medium climb. Uh, so, all kind of, you know, crit suitable. Nice little course. Uh, for a single lap multi effort. Now, I know they, they seem to be, I'm not sure if those are permanent banners. Um, kind of like Zwift, where they're always in the same place, always the same number on every circuit, or whether they to move those to kind of um, deal with what they want to put on in a particular race, if they want to have six sprints instead of three or whatever, you know. Um, it certainly looks like uh, something they could do. Ultimo time. Oh, the rest of it is. I don't know. 